let me ask you about how you see things as far as the economy is concerned, Mr. Kampani. And today, uh, you know, we're dealing with, uh, with geopolitical tensions that are rising. Uh, but the strength of the Indian economy is not being questioned. The fundamentals are strong. The macros are looking better. We've got a credit policy coming up on the 4th of October. As you look at the economy today, what are the high points for you? You see, first of all, the new government which has come into power, Mr. Narendra Modi's government, have done some wonderful things on policy matters. And these policy matters which they have brought in will have fruits in the next three years' time. Because they are just changing policy one by one. If you really look at it, they are removing old legislation which are 100 years old. 1,500 legislation they are repealing. They have all done this insurance. They have done defense. Yes. They have also done GST now. And Swachh Bharat. So, you know, the, the new policies which the mm. government is thinking about is going to give result over a period of time. Mm. Naturally, make in India. But the point which I am making is this, that today the biggest problem which we are facing in the country is the non-performing assets of the bank. Mm. And that, that has to be resolved. Unless they are not able to resolve, our credit offtake has come down to about 9, 9.5%, mm. which always used to be about 15, 16%. And therefore, you know, there are, there are no new big projects which are coming up. Mm. And therefore, to that extent, the investment from the Indian entrepreneurs is lacking. Mm. Only the new projects are coming up like a new... Uh, B2B or B2C ventures or venture capital companies mm. in which about 4 or 5 billion dollars mm. has come in. So my view is this, that existing business are growing, cash flow is coming, but the new big projects are not there at the moment. Mm. I hope the defense will bring that, you know. I hope some of the further investment in insurance business will take place. And GST, when it gets implemented hopefully by 1st of April, could bring about 1% increase in a GDP. But let me ask you about what we're seeing on Deal Street. And there is a considerable amount of consolidation across a bunch of sectors, whether it's telecom or others. Uh, what's your sense on M&A and consolidation? And, and uh, uh, you know, how, what will the picture look like five years from now, given where you are today? I think consolidation in telecom is already done, you know, except one or two players which are left out. But there are going to be a three to four major player like uh, Bharti, Vodafone, Jio, and Idea. Mm. These are the four major players who are going to be there. Okay, there are other players also, but I don't know how they will survive. Because they also have to think about survival. Because some of them are having debt. There are some companies are getting merged. So those kind of things are also happening. But really now the what Jio has announced, the competition has hot up. Mm. And therefore, one has to see how did Vodafone has sent $5 billion to India? Yes. So I think on that basis, the basic issue which really comes up is to see you know, how which three or four major players will survive. Mm. I think that's more critical than having a consolidation. Because some people may not want to buy some of the low companies which are having a huge debt problem. Uh, you know, let me ask you about your prognosis as far as technology is concerned because you took uh, TCS public. And, you know, questions are being raised today on whether Indian tech companies can actually transition or pivot themselves out of the legacy businesses now to digital and so on and so forth. As you see the tech landscape today, uh, how would you rate Indian IT? I think Indian IT is just doing at the moment, you know, the services, IT services, you know, to, to all the multinational clients outside of India. You know, one of the top company, I will not name it, you know, I asked the CEO about four years back. And I said, you know, you have a liquid company mm -hmm. with a lot of cash sitting on your balance sheet. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are just doing IT services business at the moment. Why are you not thinking like creating something like Facebook or Google? Mm. Because these are the brand has been created in the next last 10 years. And those companies, you know, have become billions of dollar companies. So why our four or five top IT services company cannot say I'm putting $25 million or $50 million in a risk capital and I want to change a course of action through a subsidiary company? Mm. 
answer was very simple. No, no, that's not our core competence. And we cannot do this. What is required is out-of-box thinking for them. And if they don't do out-of-box thinking and think something, you know, and create innovation over there, then there'll be huge competition also coming in from some of the players which are getting into cloud and other services mm -hmm. outside of India. You know, and now what is it? So the you're not feeling very confident or optimistic? No, I'm, I'm feeling that a growth rate which was once upon a time 100% per year or 80% per year can now come down to 3% and 4% per year. Therefore, they have to innovate something mm. and they have to think differently on that basis. You know, unless they don't do that, there'll be a problem as I see it in next 5 years or 10 years time.